Harper Lee, also known as Nell Harper Lee, was born on April 28, 1926 in the Alabama town of Monroeville, the youngest of four children of Amasa Coleman Lee and Francis Cunningham Finch Lee. Her father, a former newspaper editor and proprietor, was a lawyer who served on the state legislature from 1926 to 1938. As a child, Lee was a tomboy and a precocious reader, and enjoyed the friendship of her schoolmate and neighbor, the young Truman Capote. After graduating from high school in Monroeville, Lee enrolled at the all-female Huntingdon College in Montgomery, from 1944 to 45, and then pursued a law degree at the University of Alabama, from 1945 to 50, pledging the Chi Omega sorority. While there, she wrote for several student publications and spent a year as editor of the campus humor magazine, Rama Jamma. Though she did not complete the law degree, she spent a year at Oxford University in England as an exchange student, originally intending to work as a lawyer in her father's firm. Before moving to New York in 1950, where she worked as a reservation clerk with Eastern Airlines and BOAC, Lee continued as a reservation clerk until the late 50s, when she devoted herself to writing. She lived a frugal life, traveling between her cold-water-only apartment in New York to her family home in Alabama to care for her father. Having written several long stories, Harper Lee located an agent in November 1956. The following month at the East 50th townhouse of her friends Michael Brown and Joy Williams Brown, she received a gift of a year's wages with a note. You have one year off from your job to write whatever you please. Merry Christmas! Within a year, she had a first draft. Working with J. B. Lippincott & Co., editor Teho Hoff, she completed To Kill a Mockingbird in the summer of 1959. Published July 11, 1960, the novel was an immediate bestseller and won great critical acclaim, including the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1961. It remains a bestseller with more than 30 million copies in print. In 1999, it was voted Best Novel of the Century, in a poll by the Library Journal. Harper Lee divided her time equally between New York and Monroeville, where she lived with her sister Alice, after her father became ill. After he died in 1961, she continued living in both places for the rest of her life. She was celebrated in her hometown, and local people guarded her from outside interest. Few would speak about her, beyond describing her as, a little hard of hearing, but nice. Her cousin, Richard Williams, who ran the local drugstore once said, I asked her one time why she never wrote another book. She told me, when you have a hit like that, you can't go anywhere but down. Yet there was to be a twist in the tale. Shunning all publicity, Lee would reveal only that she loved golf, admired her father, and planned to publish her memoirs. She did occasionally appear in public, and in 2006 she was awarded an honorary doctorate from Notre Dame University. As the degree was presented, the graduating class rose as one, held up copies of her book, and cheered. A year later she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom from George W. Bush recognizing her special contribution to American life and culture. Apart from Mockingbird, Lee had only four articles published until, in February the 2015, to the surprise and delight of her millions of fans, it was announced that an unpublished novel, written before Mockingbird, was finally to see the light of day. Lee had written it in the mid-1950s but put it aside on the advice of her editor. Go Set a Watchman, features the character Scout Finch as an adult who has returned to her hometown to visit her father. I thought it a pretty decent effort, she said. I am humbled and amazed that this will now be published after all these years. In the event, the book generally disappointed her fans and was dismissed by the critics. Mick Brown, in the Daily Telegraph, reflected the general opinion of the reviewers. It would have been a greater kindness to her reputation, and to the millions who cherished To Kill a Mockingbird, not to have published it at all. Harper Lee remained largely withdrawn from the public gaze. Even a revised introduction to a new edition of To Kill a Mockingbird had to be taken from a letter she wrote to her agent, saying that she would not write an introduction. Mockingbird still says what it has to say, it has managed to survive the years without preamble. Harper Lee died on February 19, 2016, at the age of 89.
Her nephew, Han Connor, said the author died in her sleep at an assisted living facility in Monroeville. To stay up to date with our latest videos and more short biographies, please make sure to hit on the subscribe button below. And until next time, have a great day.